Chemical engineers are a critical cog that will solve the problems that we're going to face in the 21st century. So we have issues around energy, water and food, and chemical engineers will come up with the, with the solutions and the processes that will address those problems. So chemical engineering at Leeds has been offered for over 80 years. We have a long tradition of uh, teaching chemical engineering here in the School of Chemical and Process Engineering. We have an exciting course in terms of the way we deliver it. Our chemical engineering program looks at four different specializations of chemical engineering. So we offer a pathway in process engineering, materials engineering, energy engineering, and nuclear engineering. The pathways that we offer really are the specializations and the expertise of the University of Leeds. So by the time you leave, you're not only a competent chemical engineer, where you have those specialised skills that then allow you to go and transition into those different disciplines of chemical engineering. And I think employers do look at that when they're going through their recruitment cycles. And so one of the great things about Leeds is we also offer not only the technical training, but those professional skills training and broadening of those professional skills to actually make you stand out from the crowd once you graduate. So we have a lot of activities where students can take the learning from the classroom and put it into practice. The programme at Leeds is accredited by the Institute of Chemical Engineers. We are a Russell Group University. We rely on our academics actually feeding their research expertise down into our undergraduate program. So in years one, we talk a little bit more around some of the core chemical engineering subjects around materials and energy balances, thermodynamics and heat transfer. This gives our students that grounding to then go on and do the more challenging subjects as they go on through the years, such as separation processes, chemical thermodynamics, reaction engineering. But alongside that, you also start to build the more, what we call the broadening subjects around chemical plant safety, engineering math subjects. And then once you go into the final year, you then start to bring all those skills together. So we start to really get our students practicing like a chemical engineer and working like a chemical engineer through the design projects that we offer from the first year through to the third year. One of our projects that we offer is around CO2 capture. This is very important in today's world to minimize the environmental impact, but also through capturing, we can then use that to make other materials that will benefit society. The University of a whole has some excellent facilities. We have the uh, world leading research laboratories and teaching labs, also our computer cluster, where they'll be using the latest software and tools that are actually used in the industry. The latest additions to our, our software tools is we have a virtual reality uh, software of a chemical plant. This allows our students to really engage with the software, to explore the chemical plant, to understand the layout, but also the scale of a chemical plant. So you get that practical aspect of the learning alongside the theoretical aspect. We have a close relationship with a lot of UK industrial partners which actually we invite them to come and talk to our students. And I think this kind of broader awareness of the industry really does help prepare our students for those opportunities when they're about to graduate. We have students that go and graduate and work in the nuclear industry, for example, Sellafield or EDF. We have students that will graduate and go and work in the fast moving consumer goods companies like Procter & Gamble or Unilever. We also have students that will go and work in the chemicals industry like Croda or Innospec. And so the, the career opportunities are really broad and varied by the time you graduate from your undergraduate program.